You like to have that D-man jump in and late in the rush because it makes it very difficult for the defensive team to cover that late guy coming back. And Ryan with a shot finds the back of the net. He scored last night. We'll see if he gets credit for this one. It definitely deflected in front. Osillo able to chop it ahead. Sheary has it there. Has Graysell with him. Graysell takes a look. Gets it to the net. Scores! Boy, I had a clean look at that. Anson, I'm not sure how that got in. And somewhere he's just appeared to lose sight of it. And UMass has tied this game. I think that surprised Graysell as well, too. After he scored the goal, he kind of just shrugged his shoulders like, I can't believe that one just went in. This is what happens. You've got Sherry going to the net, creating a lot of net front presence, pushing the defenseman back. And Graysell does what the coach wow. wants you to do. Just throw the puck at the net. You never know what's going to happen. And we caught a lucky break there. He wasn't expecting that one to go in. Summer Hayes got caught off guard. Looked like it came through traffic. He picked it up too late as it went by his glove. Summer Hayes. Gozi keeps it alive for UMass, out to the line. Hanley shot, score! Redirected off the post and in, and the Minutemen on the power play for the first time in this two-game series, Anson. They have a lead. They've been dangerous in the power play once they get set up, and Hanley makes a great shot there from a point. Here we see they get inside the zone. He's got his head up the whole time, and Powers in front. Yakabels is off the side there. Summerhays really had no chance on that play. There's too much traffic in front of the net. It might have ricocheted off a couple of guys off the post and in. But you see Summer Hayes to the left of the crease, anticipating the shot, initial shot, coming in that direction. Girls, he gets a stick on it to try to keep it in the zone, and he does, sends it across, and can't see it. Oh! Lucia, aggressive, oh, wow. Costello takes the puck away. He's got to break away from center ice. Short-handed to the back, he Lost control of it, and Mastellers was able to knock it away, and now you... Pagosi goes back now for Hanley, far side Phillips. Now Phillips turn, lets it go, score! Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, he can send a text back to his brother if that turns out to be the game winner. And for now, it gives UMass the lead at 3-2. to two. That was a sneaky shot from where I'm standing. I'm right behind Phillips over his left-hand shoulder. I thought he was passing that back down to the half wall. So he even caught me off guard here. He appears to be looking off Summer Hayes, and then he just throws the net. Summer Hayes was clearly fooled on that play. That's what happens, you're long and you're lanky, you have that range, that long stick. You're able to put the stick out there, so if you're, if you're Summer Hayes, you're caught reading the player's body. Phillips could change the angle of that shot quick with that long reach of his. Adam Phillips gets the game-winning goal. His brother used to be a goaltender here at Notre Dame. Said he got uh, chirped a little bit last night. He'll have the last lap with the game-winning goal as UMass upsets number 13 Notre Dame by a final score of three to two.